For this week's tech tip, we will take a look at how to capture 3D views using SOLIDWORKS MBD. You'll notice as we've opened the part here that we've got an option at the very bottom right beside model called 3D views. So we're going to open up this window and we'll create our multiple different 3D views in this section. If we look in our design tree, you'll notice that there's an option called annotations in here. So if we open up our annotations folder, you can see all of the different views associated with the annotations that have been applied to this part. So we've already added the annotations in using smart dimension. We've created some notes and basically we can create as many dimensions on this part as we want. So what we're going to do is if we right click on, say, for example, the right view, and we're going to go ahead and orientate it to the right view, we can see all of the different dimensions that have been placed on this right view. The same thing would be if we were to right click on the top view. And again, I'm going to choose activate and reorientate. And you can see it's going to move it to that position and show me all of the annotations. So if I just right click on the front view and choose activate, it's going to turn on those dimensions, but it's not going to orientate it in the correct position. So I'm just going to right click on that again and choose orient and it'll move it to that position. So for each of the views, we can actually see all of the different dimensions that are placed on that. We can rotate it in whichever direction that we want. Um, and then we can create those 3D views. So let's say, for example, if we start on our front view, we can go ahead and capture the 3D view using the capture button and it's going to capture that view for us. So whatever we've got on the screen here, it's going to capture that for us. You'll also notice this window opens up on the left-hand side. So we can go ahead and create a different name for that view. We can choose different configurations for the part. So if you've got multiple configurations, we can change that within this view. The display state, as well as different annotations that can be joined with this view. So if I wanted to also show the right annotations, as well as the top or something like that on this view, I could add those in by clicking on those as well. So I'm just going to choose the front for now and I'll choose the OK button. And now I've got my first view. So let's go ahead and add in the top. So again, I'm going to right click on the top, activate and reorientate. So I'm going to move it to that position. And again, if we needed to add more dimensions, we can add those in with our smart dimension. We'll go ahead and capture this next 3D view. And again, I'm going to leave that one as top as the name, the same with the configuration, display state, and my annotation view. We'll choose OK. So that looks great. Then we'll go ahead and add in our right. So again, activate, reorientate. So there's our view. And then we can again capture that 3D view and choose OK. So we've also got the notes area that's available. So let's go ahead and activate the notes area. So again, I might want to maybe use this in a different view. So maybe I'm going to go ahead and get an isometric view of the part to show the notes. So there's our notes in my isometric view. I'll go ahead and capture that in the same orientation so you can see the notes area. And again, if I wanted to add in any kind of different annotations, so maybe I want the front on this one as well, I could add that in. So again, you're just turning on the different views by clicking on the different annotations. We'll go ahead and choose OK. And now we've got our notes area added into the 3D view list. So now if we want to change to a different 3D view and just see what it looks like, we can just double click on that view and it orientates us back into that position. Again, if I go to my top, the notes area, and we can kind of change this around until we're happy with exactly what we're looking at. So again, you can always update these, just capture those and delete them as well. There is um, update preview options as well. And you can also sort your order by different options within the list. You can also just drag these into different positions. So if I wanted my notes to come before the right, I can move those into whichever orientation that I want right inside the 3D view. Once I'm happy with all of my captured 3D views, I can go ahead and export these as whichever type of format that I'm looking for in MBD. So I can publish this to a 3D PDF. I can publish this to a Step 242 file. I can also publish this to eDrawings. So whichever published document that I would like, I can click on that button and go ahead and create that document. 